Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. This time I'm doing a, a urban landscape. Uh, the main character is walking through the, the pyramid that is on the at the end of the drawing and moving forward to the camera. Um, I already sketched the, the drawing on, on pencil. It's a splash page and uh, I put it on the light box. Um, the light box is that table with light you're seeing right now. And above the, the normal sheet of paper with the with sketching pencil, I put some tracing paper and I'm right now working with the Cocoiro filled with rotring ink, which is a special ink special India ink designed for using over tracing paper. It works very well. The tracing paper allows you to, to have a very controlled lines. Um, it dries very quickly. Uh, precision has a lot of precision. You can also erase with a little knife uh, that I'm using. Um, well, right now I'm just doing the, the first contour of the main, the main characters. I start with, with the, the larger figures and then I move into the, the background to the, the little ones. As you can see in this drawing, I'm using a lot the, the Cocoiro because uh, it's like using a brush. Instead of using a brush, um, dipping it into India ink, it has a synthetic uh, brush point, there's a lot of resistance, you can draw a lot with it without not losing the precision. You can do a lot of line weight, li different uh, line width variation and also you can uh, create, uh, if you control the pressure, because this kind of tool is mostly pressure management, if you control the pressure of your hand over the paper, the, the brush the brush pen will allow you to give the uh, same width uh, lines and if you press a lot more it will keep the, the line gets uh, wider so the, the trick is to learn how to draw without putting too much pressure so the, the the point of the pencil is really really thin almost thin like a 0 0.3 uh, but with a lot of m lot of more contact to the paper so it's allow you to have a uh, a more controlled type of line and doing larger lines without uh, losing contact. It's wonderful for inking pencil because the, the final result is almost like it was like a pencil but darker. Uh, wow. It's a perspective of a urban perspective. Now I'm doing the, as you can see the buildings on, buildings on the background. I use all the, the cocoiro because I like it a lot for doing this kind of sketch, urban sketch. You can see the lines are very, very thin. And if I press more, the line will get wider. I have already put it the ink at the, the main figures, the main objects on the drawing. I'm moving on on the secondary secondary ones that are part of the background. For the faces, I will do it later on uh, using a rotary isograph. The, the panel, the, the, the captions. It's important to always have them in mind because the this text uh, box are part of the drawing and are big objects that always it's important to have 
have in mind that you must place them in, in a way that they reinforce the diagonals you're, you're, you're willing to work with on the, your drawing. The people eyes go straight to those text box. So I place them in a way that I'm creating some uh, first plane of sight that allows me to reinforce the perspective and the, the sense of profundeur and the sense of deep on the page. Now with the Gokoiro I can start doing the, the main little shadows and uh, some textures where I want them to be. So later on when the colorist starts coloring this knows the, the thing that I want to have a volume on, etc. So the, the clothes, the the plies on the clothes, secondary figures. like to draw an ink with uh, those kind of brush pens. In my experience, the, the Cocoiro is the best one, because it's the one that has the, the thinnest line and the widest one. Uh, I love you have a lot of control. But you have to refill it with rotary ink, because the the same ink that it came with is not so black and it doesn't flow so well. With the rotary ink it's just perfect. And now we use the, the rotary ink isograph, technical pens for doing those little figures on the background. That's a 0 0.3. Um, from 
from now on the the drawing will be just doing some texture, the detail, etc. That will be maybe too boring for you to see. Just wanted to show you the, the tools and technique that I use when I'm drawing some this kind of city landscapes. Etc. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Any question, you can leave it on the, the comment section. I will be glad to answer it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day and leave you with a 